This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course, Lesson 17, and part of Course D, where it's Lesson 14, If Else With B, Puzzle 9. Sometimes a cloud covers a flower, sometimes it covers a honeycomb. Ugh. Okay, so we're going to use, oh yeah, the new thing. Okay. Use the If Else block to collect nectar at flowers and make honey at honeycomb. Remember, if there is a flower, the bee only needs to get nectar once. If there's honeycomb, the bee only needs to make honey once. All right, so we're using the new thing that video just told us about, the if-else statement. I know that much. First, though, okay, I can use six blocks. So I'm going to move forward once or and twice, once, twice, yep. Um, I guess if I wanted, I could do wall path ahead, but that's still, it's the same amount of blocks, because this is two blocks, and that's two blocks, right? So we'll go with the straightforward, move forward, move forward, and then once I'm here, what do I want to do? Okay, they don't even have the normal if anymore. We only have an if, do, and an else. So if I'm at a flower... I want to, well, get nectar. And you need to think of else as kind of like the default. If not at a flower, I will always, always, always do the else statement, right? So if at flower, false, you're not at a flower. If I ran that right now, it would work. And what else is, I can make it turn left to show you. I'll turn left because I'm not at a flower, so the B turns left. That is the default. So, what we want for a default, well, it's either a flower or honeycomb. So, if it's not a flower, so if at flower and the computer says false, not true, not true, not a flower, then else runs. And what do I want to do if we're not at a flower? Well, I'm going to assume it's honeycomb and get the honey. Ta-da! And I want to show you something. I can also do... If at honeycomb, what do I want to do? Now it's checking if I'm at a honeycomb. And if it says false, well, then I'm going to assume else I'm at a flower, and it will do that by default. But if I'm at a honeycomb, I'll make honey. It only does one of these. It never, ever, ever, ever will do both. If at honeycomb, I'll make honey, then it runs any code below it or ends. If not at honeycomb, false, it skips this and does get nectar. It works either way. Awesome. Let's keep going. 